Johnny Depp, Narcissist or Empath. Part 8. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We continue our examination of the evidence to determine what Johnny Depp is. We now turn to the issue of his relationships with his children. He, of course, has two children. An empathic individual exhibits emotional empathy for their children, showing patience, respect, protection, exhibiting a strong moral compass in the bringing up of those children. That, of course, does not mean that the empath behaves as a saint, never putting a step wrong. That empath can be subjected to external stresses, fatigue, a clear one, mental health issues that might occur following the birth of a child, financial pressures, pressures at work, relationship pressures, which result in a diminution of their emotional empathy, causing them perhaps in certain instances to treat that child less than favourably. With narcissists, there are those which treat the child particularly badly, engaging in sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. Some narcissists provide the child with a, an environment of a warm home, food on the table, plenty of toys and clothes, considerable encouragement with regard to school and extracurricular activities. Yet the narcissist lives through that child, governing their every move, sometimes providing them with a gilded environment where they can make no decisions for themselves, or alternatively telling them it's good but not good enough, always causing them to have to push further, to jump higher, to score more goals, to get better marks in their examinations. The dynamic between narcissist and a child victim is a varied one. Examining the relationship between a child and his or her parents is instructive in enabling us to determine what the individual is, both in terms of how that individual regards their children and, even more importantly, how the children regard their parent. For Depp, as we have heard, his father was largely ineffectual in terms of protecting him from the abuses that his mother doled out against him. He described his father as a kind man, yet this was a man that didn't protect him and indeed carried out thrashings using a belt against him at the behest of his mother. With regard to Depp's mother, it's clear that she's a narcissist, or at least was, her now having passed away, and that her abusive, physical, physically abusive behaviours, emotionally and psychologically abusive behaviours meted out towards Depp and his siblings support what she is. Has this had an impact upon Depp? Undoubtedly. But which way did it send him? Let us learn more about the relationships that he has with his children. Of course, Depp's most long-term relationship was with the French model and actor Vanessa Paradis, with whom he shares two children, Lily Rose and Jack Depp. While Johnny Depp might be great at portraying the wild rocker type in movies, when it comes to his children, apparently he's pure mush. With my kids, they're told 70 ti 75 times a day that they're loved, he told Rolling Stone in 2013. Is this a manifestation of emotional empathy, or is it exaggeration and love-bombing? Because after all, it's not just an intimate partner that can be love-bombed by a parent. One thing I know is they feel loved and secure and happy and needed and necessary and a part of something. For Johnny Depp, having children apparently wasn't just life-changing. They gave his life new meaning. He said that his children provided him with a real foundation – a real strong place to stand in life, in work, in everything, he told ABC12 in 2006. Is this an individual that's just talking about himself and the impact upon him in a rather self-absorbed way? Or is he demonstrating that his care and accountability for those children caused him to take a look at his own behaviours? For the actor, his booming career and his financial success meant nothing compared to becoming a father. When Lily Rose Depp was born, Johnny Depp told the Daily Mail that it was not, the, uh, was not only the greatest thing that's ever happened, it's the only thing that's ever happened to me. He said that Lily Rose gave him life and her existence was a renewal for him. Again, note how he's talking about himself and the impact upon him more self-absorption, perhaps. 
Suddenly, you meet your reason to live, meet the future, Depp went on. It was like my birth, in a way. I was born that day. Again, that does seem rather self-absorbed to talk about it being his birth. Potential character trait acquisition? Depp's history with addiction and substance abuse has come up frequently over his career, and we will be addressing that in later parts, and has garnered considerable interest, of course, in the court proceedings between him and Amber Heard. Welcoming Lily Rose and Jack Depp into the world also functioned as a motivation for him to get sober. Depp admitted to the Daily Mail that he had a problem with alcohol and couldn't stop drinking. Is this recognising accountability, or is it just the demonstration of an accountability issue? It's one thing to recognise the problem, it's something, to do, it's something else to do something about it. Depp said, I would just keep going until a black screen came down, where you can't see anything anymore, he explained, noting that he didn't drink for fun, rather he drank to numb his feelings. But his children took away that need to escape. Now I have a solid foundation to stand on, he reiterated. Is this now the demonstration of accountability and emotional empathy, whereby he recognises that his drinking was excessive and had to be curbed, or is it simply that he hasn't, as has been seen in his relationship with Heard, curbed his drink or drug intake? Or might that failure to curb be as a consequence of the behaviours meted out against him, so that his resolve wavered? Lily Rose Depp was born in May 1999, while her younger brother Jack Depp was welcomed into the world in April 2002, and it would appear that their childhoods were pretty idyllic. Johnny Depp explained how having children around brought joy back to the simple things. They make me happy. Simple fun things, me and my son zooming around in little cars, or making up absurd stories about Barbie dolls who get obsessed about peanut butter. Demonstration of emotional empathy? Or is it facade management? Vanessa Paradis became pregnant with Lily Rose Depp not long after she began dating Johnny Depp. I pointed out earlier the observations with regard to speed of pregnancy. And accordingly, the couple established roots near Saint-Tropez in the star's $2 million home. Once they had both children, they split their time between France and the United States. While Lily Rose and Jack Depp had everything material that they could want, they also apparently had no shortage of love. You can't plan the kind of deep love that results in children. Fatherhood was not a conscious decision. It was part of the wonderful ride I was on. It was destiny. All the math finally worked. There was an incident in 1999 when Depp was dining in London with Vanessa Paradis at the iconic Mirabelle restaurant. She was visibly pregnant with their first child and therefore even more of an appealing subject for the paparazzi. Depp, however, was not having this. He told them, I know the photograph you'll want, and you're not going to get it. I don't want to be a novelty tonight. He noted that the photographers were rude and pushy, no surprises there, even after his request for privacy. Depp explained Vanessa got in the car, and they were trying to pull the door open, and therefore in response he picked up a block of wood, and hit the paparazzi's hand to stop him from opening the door. Police took Depp into custody, and he was released four hours later. Was this a threat to his control, resulting in the manifestation of physical violence, or was this a reaction to emotional empathy for his partner being affected by a third party, eroding his emotional empathy for the third party, or possibly... He might not have any for that third party to begin with, but does have it for his partner. This incident made headlines all over the world, but Depp's publicist explained the actor's actions in a statement made to the Chicago Tribune, stating that Johnny Depp is a person who guards his privacy. He had asked photographers to abstain from photographing him and, and his wife, uh, him and his partner, but unfortunately they persisted and intentionally provoked him. Is this the action, therefore, of an individual who has his control threatened, or is this the actions of an individual exhibiting protective, compassionate behaviour towards his then partner? You can make a decision on the evidence. In part nine, we're going to continue the examination of Depp's relationship with his children and also hear from them 
or at least one of them, with regard to how he is viewed by them, which will prove particularly instructive with regard to this determination of what Johnny Depp is.